In this video, we will take a look on the concept of remotes. What is a remote repository? So, when we work with Git, usually we work with two repositories. It's your local repository and the origin repository. It's some server where it's saved your repository copy. Right now we are using Git on GitHub, but you can use it the same way Bitbucket or GitLab. It's almost the same. So. We have a git local master and uh, we can push data to original origin server or remote server and we can use git fetch to get data from this server. Also it's the same for uh, features. When we have some feature branch we can save this data in our local feature branch and push to origin feature branch and get fetch data from the same origin feature branch. So to add uh, or remove remote we can use uh, git remote or we, if we want to view check what we have we can use git remote so let's check how it works in our repository so let's open our repository and call git remote v so here we see that we have a repository for fetch and for push it's the same repository it's git on github and it's okay it's one of the best configuration you can have because everything is saved in one repository and you push and get data from this repository. It how it should work. So how we can do it? Can we use this uh, remote feature? So let's imagine here, here we have our repository, it's git basic and let's imagine that you have lost uh, access to this repository. Maybe you was a part of a team and uh, somebody deleted you from this repository or it was your repository, but what's the important that you have the whole history of all commits on your local repository and you want um, on, it, on it your own new repository. So let's create new repository. Git demo 2. It's public without readme. Just let's create it. After that here we see that we have SSH. We have this SSH repository. And uh, let's go to our repository and uh, let's delete this one. We call git remote remove origin. And let's check again. So now you see that we haven't remote repository. And uh, now we need to add this repository to new, new repository on your server. To do it, let's call git remote add origin. It's the name of our server and the URL. Cherry pick this one. Copy. So let's push, call it, and uh, git status. We have the same modified files. It was from the previous video. Git remote verbos. And we have right now we see that Linux was git basic, right now it's git demo 2, it's another one. So and now we can push all our data with all the history to git repository. First of all let's add changes what we have, commit, something like it, git status, yeah, everything is okay and now we can git push. So the, we see that Git shows that upstream isn't configured. Let's call this command. And uh, it's for feature branch via feature, but in case it will be in master, here will be a master branch. Let's call it. We see that it was pushed feature to feature. And now we have empty repository. Let's open it, reload. And so now we see that we have feature branch and we have 15 com commits. So the whole fee the whole history was moved to new repository. And in case we we need a uh, check out master git push. So this is that upstream for git push isn't configured for master let's copy set it and uh, git push 
Now we pushed everything from master to the server and uh, again let's open it. We have 15 commits. Let's switch to master and we see that in master we have 20 commits. It's expected behavior and also let's uh, clear it and uh, let's call git uh, remote show origin. What do we have? And this command shows this information about this remote repository and you can see that fetch and push are for this URL, head, branches, branches and uh, everything is okay. So now in this, so let's sum it up. We know how to create a Git remote repository, we know how to push all your history, all your repository, local repository to, to the server, we can add or delete this repository and we know how to get this data about this repository.